Hey everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Speed Painting. This is uh, kind of something that's going to happen a little bit more often in the future. You can also see I've got a I've got a new intro. Um, I've done a couple of things, and yeah, today we are in here uh, painting a little bit uh, some emotes and uh, the chair emote. Okay, so today this will be the speed painting of the chair emote, the one thing you've all been waiting for. But let me explain first of all what's going on. So I got a new paint board for my birthday, which is already like a month ago, but I haven't had the time to really do anything too much with it. So this is a, a Wacom Intuos Pro paint board, and this is this kind of typical digital paint board thingy. Um, I used to use this in the past quite a lot, like really a lot, um, but this was way before my YouTube stuff. My first ever video on this channel actually was a speed painting of something uh, Star Wars related, which was just a test and I just uh, put that online eventually later when I was already doing some YouTube stuff actually. Um, so that speed painting um, was very bad and poorly done, but that was just kind of something I've done in the past uh, to yeah, just get into it. Um, I think my best ever that I made, made was um, Naitiri from uh, Avatar. Uh, that was something I did as well and um, I'm still quite proud of it. But, you know, after a while I really forgot uh, to get back into it and this is uh, something I really wanted to do again. Um, but my old paint board just kind of broke after a while and you couldn't really find the right uh, drivers and stuff anyway. So, yeah, I'm really happy I got this to my birthday. And what we're doing today, we're first of all doing some sub badges over here. Um, uh, which are equally the same as the membership badges. So if you are going to sub on my Twitch channel or you become a member here on the YouTube channel, you'll be able to use um, this wonderful emote over here in front of your name. And the longer you are in, the better this little thing becomes. And the idea I had is it's gonna be like a more and more filled version of Rudy. So you're going to start with a sketch, which is all uh, black and white. And then after a while, the details and the color comes in. Um, I kind of uh, struggled a long, long time until I finally found the right thing to do uh, because I really did not, uh, yeah, kind of, I, I really had no idea what exactly we should use because many people kind of have the idea um, that they, you know, um, have some, I don't know, they have, I don't know, eggs or dragons or whatever and they grow with the time. But the camel is kind of, you know, kind of a little bit of a difficult thing to grow in that kind of sense and yeah some things uh, I just needed to figure out first and I'm quite happy the way I did it so uh, yeah we are basically doing this right now and later on doing the chair however if you guys are interested in this kind of chill relax painting stuff you know I will be live with it tonight so this video is going to be um, uploaded uh, way later actually than usually um, just so you make uh, sure that you jump over to my Twitch channel this will be where I'm going to be live uh, so I I guess it will be around um, 22 30 like uh, you know 10 30 Central European time in the evening p.m. Uh, so just you know having a chill late night stream and then we're going to start a painting the one thing you guys voted for Miles Morales from the Spider-Man um, comic, it's actually not a comic, it's from Into the Spider-Verse. I'm a, I'm a very big fan, by the way, of this movie. I think it's one of the best Spider-Man movies out there. Uh, I just love the, how, the whole vibe of it, I love the whole art style, so that's gonna be a challenge for sure, but I'm really happy to tackle that. We definitely won't be finished tonight, but just getting the basics in and, and just uh, the basic shaping and stuff from Miles Morales, I think will be a fun challenge, and um, this is what we're going to do. I'm really, I'm really excited to um, guide you guys through this because, um, yeah, I just feel this is going to be uh, something new, you know, uh, something different and uh, change, change of pace, so to say, because we had so much about Planet Zoo, which will still be one of the biggest things on this channel, of course, but um, I just want to try different things and I'm a big fan still of uh, painting stuff and so on and uh, yeah, this is what I'm really looking into. And here you can see, by the way, this is the, the final sub badge that you are getting once you hit the highest tier, which is on YouTube currently, um, I don't know, I have no idea how this actually works on YouTube. I will have to look into the membership uh, sub badges again, or membership badges, however you call them. Um, but on Twitch, this is the one you get after being uh, subbed for 12 months. Since I'm not partnered yet, uh, this is, I can't give you longer than 12 months. Unfortunately, I would love to give you a bit of a better one um, in, you know, because I have some people who are already 
weekly sub for almost two years, which is just crazy. And thank you so much, guys, for that. Um, but yeah, so here we go. That's that's been it for um, <laughs> for the moment of the sub or membership badges. Now we are getting into the fun stuff. And here you can see my lovely face. In order, um, yeah, if you're interested in that, it's in here because that's taken right from the stream where it happens. To give you guys a little bit of context, this thing was not planned. This thing is completely. Um, out of the situation and I think this is why I love this whole context so much. Now my chair is a DX Racer normal gaming chair I guess that's how you would describe it, how normal people would describe it. However it seems to be something special for my chat, for the live chat. And it appeared a couple of weeks ago that I um, left my chair alone for a couple of minutes until I came back and the chat kind of created a chair cult. Now, so to say, they basically donated a whole bunch of money and subs and everything else to the chair, you know, for the charity of things. And I don't know why, but it just turned into such a religion in a couple of minutes that um, the chat basically forced me to uh, do this and to create a lurk chair emote. And honestly, that was so much fun because these kind of things are the the, the little things, you know, the, the fun things that you really, you can't, you can't plan. It happens the way it happens. And I, I couldn't be more happy about this because you guys made this stream so special. You guys made it um, so enjoyable for me personally, but also, um, I guess, for everyone in the chat, they will have this moment to remember. And I'm I'm more than happy that we do have this emote now and I will try to bring this somewhat into YouTube as well. Um, I have, I think the more members we get on YouTube, the more slots for emotes I get. I mean, I am partnered on YouTube, so that's not the issue. I think um, I need more members on the channel before I can start um, making more emotes over here. I have no clue how that works on YouTube, but in case you want to support me in this way, you can become a member on YouTube as well, just so you know. It's, it's not a request, I just say that because this would make me um, or put me into position to have more emotes than just the ones we have already and in case you are becoming a member you can use them under my videos and if I do live streams eventually on YouTube again which I have no clue if I will ever do it again depends a little bit on, on how Twitch develops to be honest so it might actually be that I come back to YouTube for streaming because honestly um, YouTube is doing a lot of things that uh, seem to be great. They are investing a bit more into streaming. So really curious if they can really pull it off and improve the whole system enough to make it uh, yeah, reasonable to come back or like valuable enough to come back. But the reason why I'm streaming on Twitch is mainly because I enjoy it so much more over there. You have so many things, it's all settled, the whole system works better, people know what to do. And yeah, just in general, it, the, the rating system, the support system, the commands, the bots, everything is everything is made for that. So yeah, I guess that's, that's why I'm enjoying it so much over there. But yeah, you can see um, drawing a simple emote is not even that quick, to be honest. Uh, there is a little bit of... Uh, I, I don't even know how to say that, but in order to make good work in emotes, you have to really nail the simplicity of an item. And this is not really that easy. I mean... If you see an emote, that looks kind of little comic-y painting, and that's about it. But that, that's just what you see, okay? That's just the final result of what you see. But the, the really, the, the art and the beauty of a good emote is that it looks the way it should in a simple way without over-designing it. And the tendency to over-design it is very, very, very heavy, and you are very quickly there because it, it just feels as if you don't have enough details, but you have to imagine the emotes are mostly just a couple of pixels in size, so you can't even get that crazily detailed. And you can see over here, um, I just put some uh, cool little letters on here, so that's the Rudy chair over here. And what I love even more is what we will put a little bit later behind um, the the little pillow over here which i'm doing right now and in case you can't read it but this will be uh chat forced me to do that or something like that or chat chat made me do this and i love that because that's just the kind of little inside joke you can only see if you have seen this video or if you've if been in the youtube video uh, in the in the twitch live stream and so uh, yeah now congrats guys you are now in the group of these wonderful people and in case you have seen that and heard this please Put this in the comments down below. Put down 
chat made me do this okay so i know that you have seen that and you are part of the cult now part of the part of the chair crew you know okay. if you guys come up with a better name for the crew please let me know is it kind of the, the charity crew or is it the chair leaders i think we could be the chair leaders right i mean that would be kind of neat i guess even though whatever if you have got a better idea please let me know in the comments down below i'm just kind of bad on coming up with these ideas but you can see over here i took my my lurk emote and i turned this into a real lurk emote and this is the kind of chair lurk emote so i'm i made a little bit of an alpha layer here to make sure that the hooves are or the kind of little arms are grabbing around the chair and yeah it, it just kind of worked out way better than i was expecting it to work out um it looks fairly fairly decent in the end as you can see over here this is the this is the kind of stuff we need this is the kind of uh, vibe i wanted to have going on but yeah that's mostly about it already again the little reminder if you want to catch me live jump over to my twitch channel maybe the moment you're watching it i'm already live if not uh, i think the video will be will be live around somewhat between 8 and 9 p.m central european time and i'm be streaming around an hour and a half later so from the moment the, this is update uh, uploaded um it's it's not that far away until we're starting to stream so see you there stay safe until then and have a good time goodbye everyone.